the first day of my wheat belly detox experiment. So I thought I would come on here and just explain a little bit of what wheat belly is, what the book is about, and um, some of the claims that it says and what I expect out of it. So let's just get right into it. So wheat belly is a book written by cardiologist Dr. William Davis. So yeah. right on the cover of the book, it says, wheat belly, lose the wheat, lose the weight, and find your path back to health. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes so I don't forget anything, but um, that sounded really intriguing to me. I know being gluten-free is kind of like um, a big trend right now. A lot of people are trying it out, so I thought, hey, why not try it out as well? So this is basically a book explaining to you what is wrong with wheat and what it does to your health and things like that and it gives you things to eliminate things to eat and it makes some really really big claims so right off the bat I am gonna be honest and say that I have not read this book I have just done a lot of research on it and it's something that sounded really interesting to me so first I'm gonna give you some of the claims that are stated in this book or at least the blog that I've read because he keeps a blog as well and I do read those articles and like I said, I've been doing a lot of research. So basically, I am doing a 10-day experiment to see if the claims hold up, how I feel after 10 days, how hard it is to stick to this diet because it simply is not as easy as just cutting out wheat. There are a lot of other things that he cuts out as well. So some of the claims of this diet are you can lose up to 10 pounds in 10 days and then after that, you can lose about 25 to 30 pounds in three to six months. Also, you'll feel less hungry, you'll have less cravings, there's no um, calorie counting or anything like that. Also, it says it can help reverse skin disorders such as eczema and rashes, things like that. Um, it can relieve depression and anxiety, help you sleep better, help you feel better in general, have less joint and muscle pain, things like that. So to me, those claims are huge and it sounds like this could be a life-changing diet. So. I just really wanted to test it out, see how I feel after 10 days. If it can help relieve my anxiety, help me sleep better, and lose weight, I am all about it. Um, the reason I am calling this an experiment is because I do plan on doing it extremely strictly for this next 10 days. And then after that, if I feel amazing, I probably will stick to some of it, but not all of it, because it is extremely restrictive. So I think it might be really hard to maintain long term. but. We'll see how I feel, and I will definitely let you guys know. So basically, as I said, this is a diet where you completely cut out wheat and gluten. But one of the things that he does say in his book is not to replace things with gluten-free foods because they are so high in sugars usually that it makes your blood sugar spike, and that obviously is not good for you. So basically, the main thing is to, I read this somewhere and I thought it was perfect it perfectly kind of shrinks the entire diet down to one sentence and it's eat foods that are ingredients not that have ingredients and I thought that was a perfect explanation of this diet so basically you can have unlimited amounts of veggies raw nuts seeds healthy oils meats that are uncured cheese and unsweetened condiments um, you can still have coffee and tea and things like that. And then he wants you to limit fruit to two servings per day. Fruit juices only if it's real, 100% juice. You can have two to four ounces a day. And then non-cheese dairy, like yogurt, cottage cheese, things like that, um, one serving per day. And then it also says to limit beans, peas, sweet potatoes, rice, soy, dark chocolate, things like that. So basically what the diet entails is you are living off of meat vegetables, nuts and seeds, and a little bit of fruit and seasonings and spices. You can do all that as long as they are wheat free. So it is extremely restrictive, but I do find that there is plenty of variety as well as weird. I know they're kind of on opposite ends, but basically you're cutting out any high, highly processed food, any processed food really at all. And then also things that are high in sugar, um, but the nice thing is that you're not counting calories and hopefully I will be less hungry and things like that. So um, there is a very extensive list of foods you can eat and can't eat on his website. So I will link that down below for you guys if you want to have a look at exactly what you can have and what you can't have and things like that. And yeah, I'm just really excited to test out these claims and see if I feel amazing after these days. Um, 
The one thing you do have to do, even though you're not um, counting calories, is you, he wants you to manage your carbs and your sugar. So keep those, you know, at a moderately low level. And yeah, I think I think carbs. It's had you can have between 50 and 100 grams per day of total carbs, which is why you do have to limit fruits and things like that. And then limit sugar, obviously he doesn't want you eating highly sugary foods because that's just not good for you. So um, yeah, that's really what the Wheat Belly Diet is about. It's about eating whole natural foods that aren't processed. And I know this is gonna make me healthier because obviously more fruits, more veggies, nothing processed that is an extremely healthy way to live. I'm just not sure how sustainable it is for someone like me, but I'm willing to try it and I'm really excited. I hope the claims work. Um, what I'm expecting, what I am going to consider like a win for this experiment, if I can lose around five pounds in 10 days, that would be fantastic. If my anxiety is better, that would be fantastic. If I can sleep better, um, those are things that I personally am struggling with. So those are the claims that I'm going to be able to really test out and let you guys know how I'm feeling. Um, you know, if, if this is something that cures my anxiety and I don't have to take my anxiety medication, that would be amazing and a win in itself. So I will keep you guys updated on how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, things like that. Um, I am going to be weighing myself every day just to see how it goes and I will let you guys know at the end how that went. And also if you want to see exactly what I'm eating because maybe you're doing this and need some ideas, I will post probably once a day on Instagram, just like what I've eaten for the entire day. And if you guys want, I can do a separate video about what exactly I bought and what I'll be eating and things like that, meal ideas. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to explain to you the basics of the Wheat Belly Diet and let you know that I am doing this as an experiment for 10 days extremely strictly and I hope it goes well. So if you guys want to follow along on my progress, um, please do so. You can hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will get back to you and answer them. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.